Okay, so Christmas has come early and devices are available to be jailbroken on iOS 14. If you are on my channel, I know this might be a bit of a surprise video, um, but jailbreaking is something that I've been doing for seven years. It's something that's very dear to me. And this is just going to be a tutorial on how to jailbreak your phone. Um, not all devices are supported. I will say all the devices that are now supported. So it is the iPhone Success, the Plus, the original SE, the iPad 5th generation, iPad Air 2, iPad Mini 4, iPad Pro 1st gen, Apple TV 4 and 4K, and iBridge 2. Now Checkrain also says that they hopefully will support the iPhone 7 and Plus, iPad 6 and 7th generation, iPod Touch, and the iPad Pro 2nd generation, and they're going to release a future statement on the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus and the 10 because they all use the same processor. But like I said, this video is going to be a guide on how to jailbreak the devices that are currently available. So I'm going to jailbreak my iPhone success. So what you want to do is you can probably just Google check rain and it's going to be the first link you're going to see. And I'll also have this link in the description below. You want to download from Mac OS. And another thing I want to say is um, if you already have check rain on your Mac, you might want to go into your applications and go ahead and delete it. Um, otherwise, you might run into an issue where you'll be running an older version. So I'm going to open up my applications and delete the check rain that is currently here. And I'm going to install check rain. So now I'm going to open up check rain. Um, another thing I want to mention is what you have to do right now is verify in terms of your security and privacy. There we go. Open. So another thing I want to mention is you should always, 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 always back up your device before you jailbreak. Um, so what you want to do is connect your iPhone to your computer and it should recognize it. So um, you guys don't have to do this step. It's just for me, I want to see what's going on, so I'm going to enable verbose boot. You can go ahead and click start. Hit next. So what's happening right now is it's automatically going to put your phone into recovery mode, and to actually use the jailbreak, you have to be in DFU mode. And CheckRain is going to show a prompt on how to do that here. And depending on what de device you have, it's going to give you the proper steps to enter into that mode. So we're just going to wait for it to get into recovery mode, and it should show a Mac with iTunes on your iPhone. Or it's, now it's just showing a Mac with the lightning cable. So now it's telling me the steps to enter in DFU mode. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to keep holding the home button. And the check range should say that it's successfully in DFU mode if everything goes well. So once it says that, you can go ahead and let go of your device and let Check Rain do its job. And I was using Uncover before, and then I switched over to Check Rain, and my phone overall has had a much better experience. But I really do appreciate Uncover and its team for jailbreaking previously before Check Rain was a thing. So it looks like the jailbreak was successful. So now we're just going to focus on my phone now. Mm -hmm. So once CheckRain is on your phone, you can go ahead and disconnect it from your phone. And just to show you guys, um, this is the iPhone success. Um, so what you wanna do, <laughs> it's funny right here, Yalu is here, I have multiple ones. This is iOS 10, but anyway, you'll see Cydia inside CheckRain. You wanna click on that and install Cydia and it's going to download the base files that it needs. And I'm assuming once I get into Cydia, it's gonna ask, ask me to um, upgrade the essentials, but we're gonna have to wait and see. So right now it's installing Cydia. Let me wipe off all these fingerprints. And no, I'm not doing anything fishy, trust me. I just want the best presentation that I can give you guys. Okay, so Cydia should pop on the screen right here in a couple seconds. If not, I might have to swipe through some more of my apps. So Cydia should pop on your screen, but since I've already had a folder called Jailbreak Utilities, that's where Cydia is for me. So here we are. 
Cydia is on iOS 14 at the bottom here. Come on. So yep, upgrade essentials. Go ahead and confirm that. And now your phone is jailbroken on iOS 14. Like I said, this isn't available on all devices, so please don't go run out and try and plug in your iPhone 11 and try and do this jailbreak. It's not gonna work. Even though there is a setting to enable untested devices, I highly recommend not doing that. Um, please let the check grain team do their job and please do not pester them either. That's very annoying. So as you guys can see, iOS 14 Cydia is available and I still have a whole bunch of things to update. So I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade. Look at all this. But um, I'm not sure if you guys want me to make a tweak list if, you know, tweaks do start becoming updated on the um, iOS 14 jailbreak. This is the iPhone 6S, like I said before. I'm rambling on at this point, but oh my gosh, I just can't believe this is here. And like I said before, man, Yalu, it's not going to open, but I really do miss this jailbreak. I really do. But hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Please make sure to subscribe if you want to see more tech content. Leave a like or dislike for your feedback. And as always, guys, much love. Jailbreaking is back. And no, I'm not going to make a customizable um, aesthetic video that everyone else is making. It's not worth my time. I should probably get rid of all these pages too.